Hey guys, Coach Alex here, going over next week's programming highlights. We hope everyone had an amazing Thanksgiving, ate just enough, not too much, and had a great time with family. Hope you guys are feeling refreshed and excited for this next week. We got Monday, max overhead press. So an awesome day to really test out that shoulder strength with that strict uh, max overhead press. We're gonna spend a lot of time with that. Come ready and let's get excited. Um, I definitely feel a lot of PRs are gonna happen, okay? Um, the wad's gonna be 20 seconds on, 10 second transition. So it's a, it's a Tabata style workout, six rounds through. Your movements are hang power clean, uh, uh, not too heavy. Uh, bar facing burpees over the bar, front squats and toes to bar. So you're doing 20 seconds of work and then 10 seconds transition going into that next movement max reps going through um, those six rounds straight through. Tuesday, we got back squats. We're in week nine of our 10 week cycle. So this is a deload week. Um, so we're gonna get under some load, not super heavy, work on uh, positioning. Uh, and again, getting some reps in, but we're not pushing it too hard, saving that for next week's max out. The wad's gonna be four time. We have 84 American kettlebell swings. So going all the way overhead with that kettlebell, 44 handstand pushups. 84 box jumps and 44 alternating pistol squats. So our goal is to run through that straight through. If you guys need to break it up, you totally can. But the intention is to get those big, big sets um, done first with, or, or finish that whole movement first. We'll have a minute rest and then some skill work after that. Wednesday, we're starting a new cycle. We actually have three new movements this week for a new, new cycles. Wednesday is gonna be, um, we're gonna open up with one squat snatch plus four overhead squats for this cycle. So, so, so you're gonna work up to like a moderate heavy um, snatch, squat snatch, plus four extra overhead squats. Uh, and then as we go through the weeks, we're gonna drop some of the overhead squats off. And we'll be maxing out week six with that uh, max snatch. Um, Wad is called Jingle Heck, actually H-E-L-L, -L, um, 10, 9, 8, going all the way down to one. You have alternating single arm devil's press so just one dumbbell you're gonna do sit-ups so you do 10 reps 10 devil's press 10 sit-ups we got 10 single arm dumbbell thrusters and that's total so five per side 10 more sit-ups 10 push-ups 10 sit-ups and then it's nines eights all the way down so lots of reps but not that heavy and, only, and then only one dumbbell we should be able to keep moving through that pretty well and if, if you do finish early we have skill work again um, 30 seconds on 30 seconds off working on some skill stuff Thursday, new cycle here as well. Week one of our 10 week cycle of tempo bench press. Now this is gonna be a three second descend down to your chest, a two second hold, and then a fast drive up. It's so a really uh, working on a lot of time under tension for this bench press uh, cycle. The wad is gonna be five rounds for time, 325 meter row for guys, 250 meter row for girls uh, each round. And then nine ring dips, three wall walks, two rope climbs, Trying to finish those five rounds uh, for time. Friday, we got squat clean thruster, also known as a cluster. So it's a new cycle here as well. Week one of our six week cycle of that squat clean. So think of a squat clean bars going, going from the ground, pulling through your hips into a full squat. And then out of that squat, you're hitting a thruster all the way overhead. So it's a cycled movement. It's going to be super, super fun um, lift to try and work on as well as uh, hit a heavy lift with after that that six week. Wad is gonna be a repeat workout from, let's see, that's uh, March 5th of 2020. So right before COVID, uh, when we were all super fit still. <laughs> it's called applesauce. So it's a 21 minute revolving ladder. You have four, six, eight, 12 as a first section of sumo deadlifts and box jumps. You're gonna open up with 135.95 if you're doing RX. And then after that 12th, um, the round of 12 reps, so it's again, four, six, eight, 12. After that 12, uh, after you finish that 12, you're gonna rest one minute, and in that minute, you're gonna add weight to the bar. So it's kind of like a minute transition. And then you'll go four, six, eight, 12 again, four, six, eight, 12. After every uh, round of 12s, so you're gonna rest that minute um, while adding weight to the bar. Um, so it was a super fun workout. Definitely check your old score if you were here, a part of Chateau back then. Saturday's wad, uh, the last day of the week, you guys, is gonna be a 35 minute um, workout for max reps. We only got two movements. We got med ball step ups and man makers. So we named this workout Chad Maker. Um, the, uh, the hero workout Chad is a thousand 
uh, step ups for time. And then man makers are our brutal workout of a row, push up, row, squat clean, thruster. Um, definitely check. I don't know if we had a row, push up, row, push up, or if there's just one push up, but that'll be on there when you guys see it. But um, man makers are brutal. Um, again, it's rows, push ups, and a squat clean thruster. All in one, you're gonna have two dumbbells. Um, it's gonna be an awesome week, you guys. We're super excited. We're excited to have you guys back in here after our Thanksgiving holiday and trucking towards Christmas. Um, after this week, you guys are gonna feel super awesome. It's gonna be exciting working on these new lifts and then hitting that overhead press max. Definitely get in here. Your body's gonna feel amazing. We're super excited to spend this next week with you guys. If you need anything, let us know. We definitely appreciate you guys. We love you. We'll see you this week. Bye.